Down to Vlog. I'm your host, Josh Sprague, with Coble Banker Burnett in Edina, Minnesota. Episode 7. Wow. Can't believe we're here together. Thank you so much for your loyal viewership and the great comments you've been sending uh, about the show. It's really been a joy for me to, to produce this. So this week we're in the wonderful Brookview Heights neighborhood. This is a, a wonderful little neighborhood um, situated just between Highway 100 and Nine Mile Creek. Now Brookview Heights is a collection of about 300 homes. Average sale price as of the end of 2010 was about 315,000, so a very affordable neighborhood. And um, it's planted very differently than other places in Edina. It's actually kind of a circular pattern, which lends itself really well to walking, um, to uh, visiting with neighbors, and just an overall kind of a friendly atmosphere in the neighborhood. So a uh, great place to, to raise families and, uh, and, and to be active. So the other, the other great thing about uh, the Brookview Heights neighborhood is it's, it's actually located on Nine Mile Creek. And uh, the, the um, Three Rivers Park District and the city of Edina just passed the Nine Mile Creek uh, Regional Trail, which will be going in right around 2016, 2017, actually about the same time as the Southwest LRT comes to our borders at St. Louis Park, uh, Hopkins, and Minnetonka. The great strategic um, um, viability of this neighborhood is that it's on this trail. This trail will give connectivity between Southdale on the other side of Highway 100 and the west side of Edina. It'll connect uh, the, this neighborhood to the school, uh, the high school, so you can send your kids right on that trail, either walking or biking. And uh, you will also be able to bike over to the Southwest LRT, get on the train and go, go to work downtown or, or in one of the 494 suburbs like Eden Prairie. So um, I think it's gonna, nothing but good things ahead for this neighborhood. Um, on to the Facebook question of the week, which was, what is your favorite room in the house to hang out in? Now, for me, uh, with four kids, four and under, my answer was the amusement room. This is one place I can kind of contain everybody uh, and enjoy it and, and still maintain some semi-sanity. So uh, that really was not the most popular answer, though. The popular answer out there uh, in, the, in, the, um, in the community was the kitchen. And that's a great thing because if you remember back to the cost versus value study, the kitchen is, is one of the highest return on investment improvements you can make to your house. People just love the kitchen uh, for, as a place to gather around food and conversation. Uh, it's a great place to entertain. And keep in mind today, the kitchens are no longer kind of these galley kitchens closed off. Most of them have been opened up and they function more like great rooms. Um, in terms of the space in the home. So um, thanks again for all of you who are participating uh, in these questions of the week. I really appreciate the feedback for the show. On to the market news. Uh, this week, I wanna take a look at the most recent statistics for the Edina market. And if you take a look here, you'll see that uh, um, compared to March last year, median price is about the same. It's right at 333,000. Uh, year to date, uh, cumulatively though, I will say that uh, the Edina market uh, is up 3% in terms of its median price last year at 319,000 year to date, this year at 329,000. So that to me is highly encouraging to see that price moving upwards and, uh, and to see us emerging out of the recession much faster than most of the other suburbs, thanks in large part to the quality of life here and the quality of the education system. So um, uh, the other encouraging thing, if you take a look at this uh, historic chart of median prices, you'll see kind of uh, how things have gone uh, throughout the last five or six years and that we hit kind of a nadir in the last couple of years and now we've already spiked off the bottom. So um, uh, I expect this year to be a re another recovery year for the Edina market and 2012 is, we should return to a very vibrant and healthy housing market here in uh, the number one suburb in the universe, Edina. Uh, the, other, the other thing, though, that was a little bit disconcerting is uh, average uh, list to sale price. So let's say you list your house at 300000 How much um, of your list price do you actually receive at the uh, time of the purchase agreement? And in general, we're only getting 88% of our list price right now in Edina. Now that to me is totally unacceptable as a real estate professional. My historic average has been 97% and I attribute that success rate uh, in, in, in being able to maintain a strong position of leverage and negotiations to um, a very good uh, and accurate pricing strategy uh, that I do in collaboration with my sellers and also to an innovative uh, marketing plan. It's an aggressive marketing plan. I change it every single year based on 
the uh, National Association of Realtors uh, survey of buyers. Here's a graphic that shows you um, a copy of that report. Um, and what, what's in the report is, is demographic information about buyers, but also how buyers are searching for homes. And every year they kind of change the places that they're looking and the tools that they're using to look at homes. And I changed my marketing plan um, to, to be flexible enough to, uh, to uh, react and respond to the changes in the, in the buying trends. So that's why I think I've had great success with, uh, with being able to get uh, nearly uh, all of my list price, even in a buyer's market where buyers are out for total blood. So um, that's all I got for this week. I appreciate you sticking with me and coming back again, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great week, and let's pray we don't get any more snow.